Hi there, Ashley from Nemisma here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you a few of the updates that we've made to the receipt capture process within the Nemisma platform. So within Nemisma, we have the pending receipt section, which has always been here, but we've just improved it slightly. So on my mobile application, I'm just gonna go on to upload receipts and then take a picture of a receipt. I haven't actually got any receipts, so I'm gonna take a picture of my computer screen, uh, a receipt that I have on my computer screen. So I select okay, and then enter a description and save that. Now that'll just take a few seconds to come through. But if I go to the agent dashboard, this is a really useful tool that not everyone knows about at the moment. And it's it's useful from a workflow perspective because you can identify exactly who you need to do some bookkeeping on. So within unprocessed receipts of the reports on your agent screens, you can actually see a list of all of your clients as well as all of the pending receipts that have been uploaded for each and every one of your clients. If I refresh this page, it should come through in just a minute. There you go. So I've got Barney's Balarama and there's one unprocessed receipt. So now if I go back to the platform, I had zero. Refresh that. Now there's one and I can drill down into it and see the receipt that has been uploaded. So on the right side there, uh, I can zoom in and I can see the detail a little bit closer. Uh, but you can also rotate the image. There you go. So on this receipt, the total amount is 47.70. And the date, uh, there isn't a date on this receipt. So let's just enter any, any date. And then the amount 47.70. And we have this ability to search here where it searches for a transaction that matches the amount from your receipt. And if there is a match, you can add this document to that line. So it will always uh, be accessible from the expenditure pages. If you want to query this, you can select send query, which will then allow you to send an email to your client, just asking them, what is this receipt? And it will also attach the receipt to the email. So I can say, not sure what this is. Could you clarify? Yep, and I can either send that or cancel. Or if you wanted to delete it completely, you can. Yep, and then let's search. And then finally, if there is no match, you can add the new receipt manually. So you can click this button and then it will take you through the process of bookkeeping it into the accounts. So then I can select the supplier, enter a bill number. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, enter any notes if I wanted to, but then you can select your expense type, enter a description, or you can split it into the multiple line items if you like, uh, but then we can enter gross amount, select the VAT rate. This company isn't actually VAT registered, so I'll just select no VAT and then save. And there you go, transaction 34 has been added. So when we go to expenditure, We've got the transaction that's been book kept there, and I can always go back and view the receipt at any time. Okay, there you go. So I hope this helps. If you do have any questions, as always, feel free to get in touch on 020 3021 2326 or email us on support at namisma.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.